Pumpkin Pie? So basically, because number one, there are no new Transformers coming out. And I do have <coughs> Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Brick O'Donnell. I mean, seriously, look at this guy. He, he actually looks like he might be a brother of Saito Swipel. I mean, check him out. Look at that. Seriously, don't you think they could be brothers? That this could be, like, this could be the third little brother of Saito Swipel and uh, Sun Tricor. It's just he decided to join the Decepticons. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the formation, this badass guy. And of course, yes, we are super drunk. And as you can see down here at the very bottom, he will be here. No, to hell with you. No. Listen, seriously, you need to be there when the vlogs are happening, not when the transformation happens. Transformations. That's what I said. I don't care if... No, look. Okay, no, stop. Back to the transformation. That's why we're here. So we fold him down, bring out his arms. Legs. Legs. Fold out. And, uh... Bring his shins forward, I guess? I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly. I've actually had this guy for quite a while. And if you guys have been watching my uh, reviews, you you will know that. But if you haven't, that's your own damn fault. So yeah, there we go. And then we fold this down and up. We got Girakomodo. Girakomodo. <laughs> and very not convincing Girakomodo. But then when we pull the arms out, we force them, fo force them, force them back. And then we pop this up. Ooh. And uh, we somehow shove the head up. Somehow. I don't know how, I don't know how we get the head up. But there we, there we go to. That is... Breko Dano. Breko Dano of the uh, Revenge of the Fallen series. Oh. Not cool. We'll pull this head up. And bring him up. Make sure he's there. And uh, this, uh, this, this is a piece of Guza here. And there we go. We got Dedo Trono. Little brother to sideswipe. We can, because this guy's a, a Legends figure, we can actually hook up shit to him. Um, I think this is gonna work. Cut, cut. Okay, there we go. Here we go. This is one of, um, Ironhide swords, or knives. So we can hook it on to his arm here. There we go. And, uh, so yeah, we've got the Freddy Cougar, Break it down all. check out those blades, man, he cut you up, if you don't want that, you can always take them off, and it's only if you have The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Recon Ironhide. Then you can make him have. Say hello to my little friend, oh! But yeah. Did the, the, uh, the scout line has some pretty good cool stuff going on here. If you can find out what the hell's going on with it. Based on that, um, I seriously mean that. Number one, 
because if you can't figure out how certain things go together, then Hasbro is putting seriously, seriously a lot of faith in you guys. Now I only found out about half of this shit because I check certain websites all the time. But as long as your figure has C clips, then you can hook them onto different figures. Um, Brother Kato is the, the greatest example of all. And then we got, um, what's his face? Stormbringer? No, it's not Stormbringer. Um, damn it. I totally forgot this guy's name. It's not Stormbringer. It's, um, Night Stalker. Yes, Night Stalker and Mind the Waterfall. So, yeah. So as long as you know where they can check the connection, the connectional portals are, you can actually add up and down to these guys. So we got um, Night Stalker. We got Vertikato, who actually was a brother of Sunstreaker and Saito Saito. So, now we know why Barricade became a Decepticon. I will check to you guys later. Ching!